Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, November 1st. Can you believe it? <laughs> I was struggling with the thumbnail on this again. I don't know what happens, but sometimes the thumbnail will not upload, and it goes back to my default picture, which is that uh, seascape. So I don't know what happened with that, but we are making these cards today, not those seascape ones, and we're using napkins. So, <laughs> yes, Robin, I'm keeping you in suspense with the, the beach card. <laughs> I don't know what happens, but it just pops up and it says, uh, unable to upload thumbnail. So, I don't know what happens, but uh, that's what goes on. So, anyway, I had to go take a picture, upload it to my photos, edit it, and then put it back on the thumbnail, which I just realized I can do that now. So, hopefully that'll fix it. I just got a brand new phone today, so... Hopefully, we're going to have a great video, and you can see it really clear and hear me and everything. So, I just got a brand new iPhone 14 and got 5G. So, I'm hoping that if for some reason my internet doesn't work, that the 5G thing will kick in. So, hello, everybody. Hey, Beth. Hey, Jan. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Dolores. Hey, Robin. Hey, Debbie Spice Girl, you're not late. You're right on time. I was late. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Diana. Hey, Reva. Hey, Ingrid Anaki. <laughs> I think that. Wait a minute. Uh, who is that? Is that Inika? Maybe? I don't know. Or it's somebody new. I don't know. Patricia. Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Nancy. Oh, Nancy, I think I actually have one of your cards I'm going to show tonight. Um, hey, Josephine. Hey, Terry. I've got, I think, one of yours, too. Um, oh, my gosh. There's so many people. Hey, everybody. So, this is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com, if I didn't say that already. And it's Tuesday, November 1st, a little bit after 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to be doing napkin cards today. I didn't do the glitter today because... Last time I did a napkin card, everybody said they liked the one without the glitter better. So that was this card that we did. I think I think it was this one a long time ago. And I did with and without glitter. And everybody said that they liked without the glitter. So I love it both ways. And then this was another one that I did with the glitter. So if you do like the glitter, all you have to do is put a sheet of the um, adhesive sheet on top and then put the dazzling diamonds on top of that. So it's super easy. If you missed how to do that, I do have um, a two or three videos on napkin cards previously. So you can just search on YouTube, Lisa Freeman napkin cards, and they are on there to make these cards that I already did. So we're doing some new ones tonight with no glitter. And um, I hope you love them. I got these napkins right here from the Dollar Tree. So they were $1.25. The only bad thing is you get, um, let me see, 24 in a pack, but there's only two sides that have the napkin on it. So um, let me show you. So instead of normally you get four, you know, like, on every square you get it, but this one just has it on two squares. So this is my new card kit. Actually, one of these will be, I'll let you guys vote, those of you that order from me, so you can pick which card you like the best, and that'll be the card kit for the month. So, I mean, not for the month, but for two weeks. So from the first through the um, 15th. So <laughs> Debbie Spicer says, I love the beach scene too, but it is too funny to see it up all the time. I know! I don't know what happens. I just click the picture of this and then it says unable to upload thumbnail and then it puts that beach card up. I don't know what happens, but um, it just does it. So, oh yeah, don't forget to do thumbs up, everybody. Um, let me see, we've got, oh, 90 people. They must have changed something on here because like my whole screen on the YouTube channel looks different and I don't know why, but it says 85 people are watching already, so that's good. And I hit 11,000 subscribers over the weekend, which was exciting. And I have more exciting news. So Stampin' Up! announced today the top achievers for the whole entire year from October 1st through September 30th of 2021 to 2022. And 
Da, 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 da. I got number 55 overall in the company. So that was good out of um, like, I don't know, I think there's 40 some thousand demonstrators in the United States. So that's pretty good. 55 out of 40 some thousand. And then I got number two, I mean, 72 for leadership, 34 for team building and 122 for sales. So that was good. I was, I ranked in every single category. So I was very excited for that. So that was some exciting news today. Thank you, everybody. Um, oh, Judy says, yes, they changed it as well. Yeah, so YouTube changed something because something's different. And I noticed when I was watching another video earlier today that I tried to save it and it's different when you go to save a video. So um, anyway, I've got lots and lots of stuff to show you today. So this is what we're making. Um, I got a couple cards in the mail and they're not birthday cards. This was a thank you card from Gwen Ball. So Gwen sent me this card right here, which I thought was beautiful, and it has lots and lots of shimmer on it. I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer, but it's so pretty. Very gorgeous card. Love it, love it, love it, and a nice note. I love the notes. I love reading all the notes. And then I got this card, which is from Kathy King, and she sent me this cute Halloween card that says Best Witches. I thought that was adorable. And I love that. I'm not a big Halloween person, but I love that um, witch's hat. And then I also have the winners from the birthday card um, contest. So I know at one point I announced I was going to have like a birthday contest or something for everybody who sent me a card. So I got, I didn't count them all, but I know I got over a hundred and some cards for my birthday. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you everybody who sent a card because they were all beautiful. But I wanted to give something, just a little extra something to the ones who I thought like really, really outdid themselves and were just like over the top, super awesome, amazing cards. And I had picked out about 10. I really had a hard time narrowing it down because there's so, so many good ones. And I picked out like my top 10 favorites and then I took them to work. And I laid them out, and then I asked all my coworkers to pick um, their top five. And so they voted on them. So I had about 10 ladies vote. And this is the ones they picked. So these are the top five in no particular order. Let me get these out of the way. So, <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. all right. So we've got one is this one. And this one was from Linda Creaseman. And it is a um, an easel card, and I just loved this one. I thought it was so cute with the flower pot and all the flowers cut out from the prize peony. And um, hold on, wait a minute. Here we go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. It works like that. So that's one. And then I got this one. This one was from Donna McCarty, and this was a pop up card. And that one is just beautiful. Loved with all the glitter. So that was from Donna. This one I actually somehow missed in the original videos. I thought I had showed this on a video, but somehow it got missed and it's been sitting on my desk the whole time. So this one is from Rebecca Chapman. So this one is like a folder and then it's got little tags in here and then a little note card. And I just thought this was so pretty. So that is that one. So that's three. Let me see if I can fit them all in here and then hold on this one right here this one was from I can't remember Karen Debo so this one was absolutely gorgeous and then the one you probably all remember this one was everybody's wow card so this was the dun -da -da -da, drum roll the giant happy birthday so these are my top five picks. So you guys will get a prize in the mail from me. I'm not telling you what it is. It'll be a surprise. So um, hopefully in the next week, I will get that out in the mail to you. So thank you to everybody who sent a card. I love, love, love them all. Um, but I just thought some of these, and there were some that were super, super, super close that were in my top 10. But I had to narrow it down to like five. I really wanted to narrow it down to the top three, but I just couldn't. So um, I picked five. So you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are amazing, awesome, incredible stampers. And these cards are wow, wow, super wow cards. So 
So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. All right, so that is that. All right, so then I wanted to show you some more napkin cards. So these I've already shown, but just in case you missed that video, these were from Karen Devo, who I think is watching. Yes, I think I saw her a minute ago. So she sent some for my birthday. And these do have the glitter on them. And this is the one that I said, I saw the napkins almost exactly the same. And they were almost very similar to these, but I like hers better. But these ones from the Dollar Tree are pretty cute. So almost the same. I should have just done one with glitter just to see what it looked like. But these are the ones that she sent me in the mail for my birthday. I think that one's from her, wait a minute, yeah. All right, so all of those are from Karen. So this is just another idea of what you can do. And if you wanna put glitter on it, if you love the glitter, do the glitter. All you have to do is get those adhesive sheets from Stampin' Up and just stick it right to the front of your card, peel it off, and then just sprinkle your glitter on. And you can watch my other video and then that shows how to do that. So thank you, Karen, for all those wonderful ideas. All right, and then I got so much to go through today. <laughs> All right, um, don't forget, anybody who ordered in the last two weeks will get this card kit in the mail if your order was over $50 and you use the host code. And then if your order was over 100, you get these two. So that was for last two weeks. So if you ordered after like the 16th of October through yesterday. So yesterday was the last day. And then today's card kit, we're gonna vote on after we do the cards and you can tell me which one. Um, Debbie Spicer, didn't Terry? Oh, yeah. Did I not say that? Terry is the one. Hold on. Oh, I just threw it on the floor. Hold on, yeah. I think that was Terry's card. Yeah, that was Terry's card. That one that, that was like the giant happy birthday. All right, so fitting florets, say that five times real fast, is the um, suite that starts today. And remember, I've already talked about this. Um, demonstrators could get it last month, but now everybody can order it. Um, these two things will be in the next catalog, the stamp set and the dies, but the gems, and, and don't look at the color. This is not the right color because my printer's not working right. Um, it's more green. Actually, I've got it right here. This is the paper. So I used this on the card the other day. And then you've got all these flower ones that I've already, I've already shown these in the other videos, but I'll just flip through real fast. So you can see real quick what the paper looks like. And it's beautiful. And I brought the two cards that I already made with it. This was the last card I did and this was the other one. So these two cards I made and these have videos in case you missed them and you want to go back and look and see how I did them. So that's this starts today, so anybody can order this now, but the gems, the holiday set, the framed and festive, and the paper are while supplies last. So if this paper sells out this week, it's gone. These three things. These will be around for the next several months, and then these are while supplies last. So just uh, giving you a heads up on that. And if you want the whole suite, it's 163129. It's also on the Stampin' Up! website if you want to order. Um, okay, I think that's all the business I have. So let's get started. Let me get my little pad out here. All right, so we're going to start with the pumpkin one. So for the pumpkin one, you need the pumpkin napkin. And those are at the Dollar Tree. Or if this is the card kit. Have you guys decided which one you like better? You like the pumpkin or the um, sunflower? And that'll be the card kit for the month. And let me read some comments because I know I missed about 5 million now already. The other day, Ruth was on here and I didn't even know it until the very end. How could I miss that? Um, let's see. Everybody's saying hello. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love the cards. Um, stunning with glitter and without. Love the beach. <laughs> oh, I already read that one. Um, oh, Nancy said she saw Christmas ones at the Dollar Tree. Um, you like the pumpkin better? Okay, I'm not seeing too many people voting yet. So 
tell me which one you want for the card pumpkin or which one you like better pumpkin or sunflower and that will be the card kit for the next two weeks um thanks you guys for all the congratulations thank you thank you thank you the pale blue one is super cute i guess that's that one this one is coastal cabana and this one is soft succulent um fancy folds take the cake yes Oh, all of the cards are gorgeous. The ones that won, yes. Actually, I can't believe all of the cards I got were absolutely beautiful. I could not believe it. You guys really outdid yourself. Um, I have no idea, Michelle, how um, Terry did it because that is a lot of work. Um, super wow. Maybe you said. Yeah, Terry did it. Terry is watching. Thank you so much. Char Picard. Char Picard. Is it Char for Charlotte? Maybe. You're the first time um, first time watching live. Welcome. Um, let me see. Okay, sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. Pumpkin, pumpkin, sunflower, pumpkin. Oh gosh. It's really kind of uh, even. Let me see. Well, I would say Sunflower is probably winning. Gosh, I like the pumpkin better. That's so funny. Um, okay, so Sunflower is winning. All right, so this will be the card kit. You'll get three of, actually, let me see. We could do four of these. So I'll send you um, a card kit for four of these. And then if your order is over $50 with the, code, the host code, don't forget to use the host code. I still have a few people who forget. So please make sure you use the host code. And then these are the gems, which actually go perfectly with this card. Um, these gems are retired, but I happen to have a stash, which should be plenty for the orders that I get. If your order's over $100 or more, you'll get those gems too. So these are the ones that go with the um, Eden's Garden um, suite. So I just got them recently on the clearance rack when it went on sale and they sold out in like an hour. So luckily I got up early and got some real quick. So that will be the next two weeks card kit and gems. All right, so we're gonna start with the pumpkin one. So this is what you need is the napkin, whoops, from the Dollar Tree. And then, so they actually had plates and napkins and big napkins too. So they were really, really pretty. And then you need this piece of paper, which is Coastal Cabana, four and a quarter by 11. I scored it at five and a half. Oh, I got some ink on there. And four and a quarter. So that's scored. Two pieces of white that are four by four. And then a little piece for the words. This is like three quarters of an inch by I think two and a quarter. But it just depends on which word you use. So um, I used this one just because I thought it was a pretty one to go with this um, pumpkin set and I think it's in that pumpkin set that we have the um what is it called hello harvest and then it, the inside is um it's a book binding card so that is what it looks like and this ribbon is the pale papaya ribbon and it just went perfect with that pumpkin so um we're going to be using that ribbon so there you go if you want to take a screenshot let me scoot it over All right. Uh-oh, Tony just got on here. <laughs> and she's late and Debbie's uh, saying bad girl. <laughs> Gotta get some water. I was a bad girl today. I actually ate some ice cream. So it was the first ice cream I've had in like, um, I don't know, three months. I was so looking forward to ice cream. And I went to the grocery store and they were almost out of all Tillamook. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. All my favorite flavors were gone. So I tried a new one, which was called white chocolate raspberry and it was delicious. So that's what I ate for my dessert. <laughs> all right, so not too many um, things you need for this one. So you're just gonna get one of these squares. So if you wanna just rip them or cut it, they rip pretty easy. Well, I say that and then now it's not ripping. Let me cut it. It was ripping earlier. We're not using the whole thing, so it doesn't matter if I ripped it a little bit. All right, and then we just need this piece. 
So that one, and then you can save this if you want, but I'm not gonna save it. All right, then you just need to make sure you only get the top ply. These are only two ply, so you just need the top one. And there we go. Sometimes they're three ply and you get an extra one in there, but you just want the real thin top and then you kind of figure out where you want to put it. And I've cut my paper four by four, which is a good size. This napkin is five by five. So I don't want this bottom piece here and I don't want this. So I'm going to make sure I put it a little bit over to the side here. All right. So then what I did was I put glue and I need this, whoops, little silicone mat. Hold on. All right. So we're going to put this under here and then you need a glue stick. So you're going to get a glue stick and this is just any kind of glue stick will work. doesn't matter. And I'm just going to put it across the top half because if you don't, then you get your fingers all gluey. All right. So put it on the top half and then just decide where you want your napkin. And like I said, I don't want that bottom piece showing and I don't want the other edge. So I'm going to put it like right there. Okay. So lay it down where it is glue on there already. And then just go ahead and put the rest of the glue on. And if you use a silicone mat, it won't stick to your paper. All right. So then just kind of fold it down and then get it all nice and flat. And then I just fold it over like two edges, but you could cut, um, let me just cut this off. So I'm gonna cut right up on the edge here. I did fold it, last time I did them, I folded it on each side, but I'm gonna cut two sides off and fold over two sides. You can fold them all over, but, or if you have a chopping paper trimmer, you can chop it with paper trimmer. I tried doing it with my um, other paper trimmer and I actually ripped the napkin. <laughs> so just a tip. If your blades are not super sharp, you might rip your napkin. So be careful, it's delicate. All right, so those are folded over. So that looks good. And then that top part, I just need to trim that just a little bit more. Just a teeny smidge there. Oops. Let's cut off that piece. Okay. All right, so now we're good. So I got my napkin part done. All right, so then we just want to glue this down on top of this part. Oh, you know what? I got to do a stamp first. Hold on. So I've got Coastal Cabana and I've got the Soft Seedlings uh, leaf, which I love this one. So we're just going to stamp that right on the edge here. So I just want the leaf part. Let me get a piece of scrap paper. All right. So I just want it up to that line right there. So let me see if I can line this up good. And not get it past there. And that looks pretty good. All right, so there you go. So you've got your leaves. And then, oh, on the inside of the card, we're gonna do a leaf too. I forgot. So, and this is Coastal Cabana. So that's the inside of the card. Isn't that leaf just absolutely beautiful? I love it, love it, love it. All right, so. We're gonna put this inside. Oh, actually, you know what we're gonna do first is the ribbon. So I just grabbed um, this pale papaya ribbon and we're gonna go ahead and wrap it around here and just tie a knot. No bow on this one today. And actually I tried the soft succulent and actually the soft succulent went really well with this too. Because even though they're totally different colors, it just kind of, um, it, since it's so sheer, it really went pretty well. All right, we're going to just put this over a little bit. All right, so then we want to glue this down. So I, I'm going to put the green glue on here. And then just kind of put this in here all over. And that's going to hold our little... 
thing closed. So it's going to be closed right here and bend backwards like that. And then this is going to go inside. I'm just going to try and hold that while I do this. I did find a joke for you guys tonight. I'm just hoping I haven't told it already because it's been sitting on my desk for a while. And I saw it and I'm like, oh, I can't remember if I told that one or not. So if I told it already, I'm sorry, it's a repeat. Usually I throw them away after I finish. So I don't think I told this one yet. But it's really cute. All right, and then this goes on the front. And this is a super easy way to make a ton of cards that look like they're stamped, but they're not. And the color absolutely matched perfectly to almost every kind of napkin you buy, you'll have at least one or two colors that are Stampin' Up! colors are really, really close. So this was a perfect match for Coastal Cabana. All right, so there's that. Then what I did was I stamped my words and I used soft succulent for that. And here's a little piece. I mean, not soft succulent, soft suede, sorry, wrong color. And hopefully we'll get this straight. Guess I didn't bring it back up, pretty good. Oh, and one more thing, I brought the blending brush and I think actually I've got enough ink still on here from, let me do a little banner first. Easiest way to do a banner is just cut up the middle and then cut corner to corner. And there you go. All right, so I think I've got enough ink on this to just do the edges. If not, we'll just have to dip it in there another time. I just wanna give it a little bit of color on the edge. But I dipped it in here and then kind of tapped it off first, but it's still got some ink. All right, so that just gives it just a little bit of contrast for the background. Um, actually, I think I might just do a little teeny bit more. And just tap off. You don't want very much because you don't want to get it too dark. But you don't want it to just be white on white either. Okay, that's better. All right, so we're done with that color. All right, so I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. Oops, I keep getting the edge of that. So, uh-oh, where are my dimensionals? I guess I get a new pack out. Okay, I know I'm not reading the comments. I need like a moderator here to tell people, <laughs> tell me what people are saying. There we go. Oh, am I back? Hold on. Hopefully you guys can see me now. Am I back? Ah! Oh my gosh, it's doing it again. I'm back, I'm back, okay. Can you guys see me? Ugh, okay. Let's hope it lasts for a minute. Darn it. I was really hoping this new phone would like do it for me. Cause it should be picking up 5G if the internet's not working right. So I don't know. Okay, can you guys he hear and see me okay? Everything's good? Only had one freezing, okay. Woo! Oh, okay, glad I'm back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my um, Stampin' Blend. This is light Bermuda Bay and grab something to hit it on. And we're just gonna put a little bit of sprinkles on here. And I was gonna do shimmer spray, but guess what? You can't do shimmer spray on a napkin because if it gets wet, it does not do well. So that's why we're doing this instead. So look at those pretty sprinkles. Can you see them? Or am I frozen again? <laughs> I don't know. My computer's just spinning around in a circle. So I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see me and it's just my computer that's not working. I don't know. All right. And then I've got some pearls that I colored with the same, um, Thing, the same color, so we'll just put that there since it fell there. And then put one, let's put one on there. 
So these are colored with that same Bermuda Bay. And there you go. So that's that one. So we got one down. Okay. The 5G ain't all, it ain't, ain't, ain't all it's cracked up to be. Exactly. I thought for sure if the internet didn't work, then the 5G would pick up. And I wonder if I did it just on the 5G, if it would work. I don't know. Huh. All right. So that's the first one. Everybody like that one? All right. Now we're going to go to the sunflower one. So we'll get this one out of the way. And the sunflower one is a big giant napkin. So for this one, it's a big giant napkin and it's got it on, no, it doesn't, it only has, oh no, this is just one piece of it. It does have it on all four pieces. Um, oh, that was just one layer. So you gotta take off two layers of this one. So this one's a three ply and this is like six by six or so, I don't know, it's a big one. I'm not exactly sure what size it is, but these I got at TJ Maxx, so these, were $3.99 at TJ Maxx and I just got them oh they're 13 by 13 so they're six and a half by six and a half for um the squares so I just got these at TJ Maxx like maybe about a month ago I think so I don't know if they still have them or not but um they're a pretty good deal you got 40 for um $3.99 so that's a good deal all right so you need the napkin and then soft succulent eight and a half by five and a half and then um, two pieces of white, five and a quarter by four. And then the two little pieces for the words. This depends on which words you use on your card if you're gonna make it. If you're getting the kit in the mail, I'll send you these pieces. It's two by three quarters for this one. And this one is just a smidge bigger. I just kind of put it on here and cut around it. So it's like an eighth of an inch bigger. So I think it was seven eighths by two and one eighth for that. So that's all you need for this one. If you want to take a screenshot of that, don't ask me where I got those words from. They were on my table. I have no idea. It just um, was sitting there. So I had to use it and I have no idea where it came from. <laughs> it's in, it's in some stamp set from Stampin' Up. <laughs> um, Christmas tree shop has nice napkins. I don't have a Christmas tree shop here. Um, yes, Stella cannot behave. Oh, I should have done some spanking of Stella on the card. We'll do Stella on this one. We'll spank Stella for this card. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of that one. And I'm still with you. My, my computer is just spinning in a circle, so I don't know if I'm with you guys or not. My can't my phone still shows that I'm live, but my computer is spinning in a circle. So who knows? Send me send me a comment. And let me know if I <laughs> if I'm still with you. <laughs> oh, here I am. I just popped back in. <laughs> oh, the internet is just frustrating me today. And I even restarted my computer just to make sure everything was fresh and all going good but oh well all right so we're gonna do the exact same thing so for this one you just need one of these white pieces and excuse me um you know what I just realized when I made this card I made it to go this way and then I glued it the other way because I wanted it to go like this and have the words right there <laughs> I swear I have brain farts. I was just making this like right before the video. I was running late today because I had to go to this training thing earlier today. And, um, oh, that's funny. This one is just a little, oh, no, it's not. Here we go. Now it's the same. Wait a minute. Here, oh, it went this way. Yeah, okay, I did it this way. So that's how I started it, but then I ended up this way. I think I'm gonna do this one this way and have it Put the words right there. All right, so we're gonna start with the glue again. So I've got my glue stick and my little um, silicone thing. And I'm just gonna put it like on the top half and make sure you get it like right up to that edge. I'm gonna have to push this up a little bit. So I had to go to training this morning and the funny thing is I was the only one there. So 
they scheduled it for the 15th and 16th, but then they also scheduled all of the front office um, managers for uh, training in Richmond on the 16th. So I forgot where I was going to put this. Wait a minute. I think I had it like about right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll put that down. That's a little bit crooked, but it doesn't matter because we're going to cut it off. All right. So we glued the top half. Now we just have to glue the bottom half. So anyway, um, they scheduled this training for the 15th and 16th. And I called the lady and I, who's in charge of it. And I said, her name's Lisa too. And I said, Lisa, I said, you realize all of the PSCs, that's what I am, a PSC, um, will be in Richmond on the 16th. So we can't go to this training. I said, so, and, and I said, and we've already done the schedule and I'm scheduled on the 15th. So I said, you need to add some more days or something because that's just not going to work. So she added today as another day. Well, evidently nobody else got the memo. So I show up and I was the only one there. <laughs> so I got a private lesson. So it was pretty cool because um, we're doing this new scheduling thing. And I'm going to trim off this bottom a lot because that's a lot down there. Um, it's this new scheduling app that they have. They got from Australia. So evidently it's something they're using in Australia, like a bunch of big companies and stuff. And so my company that I worked for, they got this app. And so now they're teaching it to all the supervisors in the company. So that's supposed to be easier to do our schedules, which it really is a cool app. So I don't know if any of you guys, um, if you're like in management and you do schedules, but this app, I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's really cool. Anyway, that's what I did this morning. And then I went and got my new phone, which took forever. And, and then I came home and started working on my projects for today. And played with my phone a little bit. But, you know, really, it's not that I had an 11, iPhone 11. It's not really all that different, except the camera is a lot better. So it does have a much better camera. So I was hoping the video would be, like, perfect tonight. Of course, it's, it isn't, didn't come out perfect, but oh well. Okay, so there we go. So we've got this one done. So do you guys want me to do it this way or... So we can have the cart going this way or this way. So vertical or horizontal. This is vertical. This is horizontal. I think I need to do it this way. And then I can put the, just a note here. Got a little wrinkle. We could do it that way too. What do you guys think? Vertical, vertical. Um, oh, I missed something. It's November 1st. I know, it was 70 degrees here too. Um, today was 70 and I was out in like sleeveless shirt and flip flops. And then um, tomorrow I think it's gonna be 70 again and it's gonna be 80, 78, 79 and 80 on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think. So it's supposed to be like super warm in the next few days, I was like, oh, dang. Of course, I put most of my fans up in the attic, got out the heaters. <laughs> Thinking it was going to be, you know, cool and not summertime. I might have to put my bathing suit on and go lay out in the sun or something. I don't know. Um, what is November 9th? That's my mother's birthday. Is it Kronos? What is Kronos? Let me see. I tried a napkin card a couple years ago, and the video I watched for instructions said Mod Podge it to stick the napkin on, then Mod Podge it again on top of the napkin. Ugh, that seems like it would be a mess because Mod Podge is wet, and I think that would smear. I don't think you any wet kind of glue would work very well on... Uh, napkins. That's strange. I've seen the iron-on kind. I've seen where you can do like some kind of iron-on and I forget the, and then the adhesive sheets. I did the adhesive sheets one time. 
Um, okay, so for this one, I'm gonna use the sunflower stamp for the inside. So what I did was I took crushed curry and I inked up the whole sunflower. Then I took Mango Melody and I didn't have an orangey um, blending brush, so I didn't really wanna make a new one. So what I did was I just took the ink pad and just kind of swiped along the edges all the way around. And whoops, I just got too much in there. I didn't mean to hit the middle like that, but anyway. All right, and then I tried doing a blending brush with blue in the middle, but it came out a really wonky color blue and I didn't like that. So let's do it this way. So we'll just stamp this. So it'll just be like yellowy orangey. And there we go. So you kind of get the yellowy and the orange all there at the same time. So just a cool little trick there if you've never tried that before. So that's the inside. And then on our words, we're gonna do the Just a Note in Starry Sky, because that was kind of the closest blue that I found to that one. I was trying to match that blue, but I tried Pacific Point was too different, and the Starry Sky was pretty close. All right, so this is the inside. I wrinkled my paper a little bit. So there we go. And then, just a note. Anybody know where this is just a note from? Is just a note is from? Because I don't remember. We're gonna try and get it right in the middle. There we go. I'm gonna let it dry for a minute because this is a brand new pad and it's really juicy. And let me see. Okay, everybody said vertical. Mod Podge is messy, very messy. Um, love the sunflower, thank you. 74 in North Carolina, it was 73 today. But the funny thing was, it gets down really cold at night. And so when I woke up this morning, it was 62 degrees in the house. So I didn't ever turn anything on. I didn't turn the heat on or anything because I knew it was gonna be warmer later. And um, I went out in sleeveless shirt and flip-flops, came back. My house was like 65 degrees. So I put my pajamas on. <laughs> so I've got, I've got my nice winter pajamas on. <laughs> my, my house got up to 68 today, but it was warmer outside than in the house. So that, that was funny. Um, the wet glues work great. I don't know if you want it to have loads of texture. You just don't glue it down smooth and crinkle it. Okay. I ha I tried the wet glue one time and it kind of ripped the, the napkin because I tried to use this glue and it did not work. Um, went to the movies and saw Ticket to Paradise. Is that the one with Julia Roberts in it and um, George Clooney? Because I want to go see that. It looks hysterical. Oh, Tony's birthday is November 9th. That is also my mother's birthday. She was born in 1943. So she's going to almost be 80 years old. Go to greetings. That's probably what it is. Um, go to greetings. Kronos is a program we use for scheduling and staffing. It is not Kronos. It's something like, it's not work day. We have work day for our like clocking in and like payroll and stuff, but it's work. I think it's work something. All right. So this is dry now. I'm going to glue this. I'm just going to use tape on this. And glue that down to the black and then put that on with dimensionals. Um, I want to say work horse, but it's not work horse. It is something, but it's an app and you can get it um, not in the app store, but it's something you download on your phone. And then like everybody in the whole company can see everybody's schedule. All right, I'm going to put this down, I think over here. And then we're gonna tie a ribbon. So for this one, I got, um, <gasps> uh-oh, wait a minute, where did it go? Uh-oh, maybe I forgot the ribbon for that one. I sure did, yikes. Okay, that's not good. Well, I got some linen thread, so we're just gonna use some linen thread. But I put 
The ribbon that I did on this one was the soft succulent, but for some reason I forgot to bring that with me. Oh, I got my joke too. Don't let me forget that. Okay, so I forgot this one. All right, so let's do a double one because whenever I use linen thread, I like double. So we'll do that. Let me tell you my joke real quick. All right, you ready? Now, if I already told this one, I'm sorry, it's a duplicate. All right, an old man in Miami calls his son in New York and says, listen, your mother and I are getting divorced. 45 years of misery is enough. Dad, what are you talking about? The son screams. We can't stay in the sight of each other any longer. He says, I'm sick of her face and I'm sick of talking about this. So call your sister in Chicago and tell her and he hangs up. Now the son's worried. So he calls his sister. She says, oh, like heck, they're getting divorced and calls her father immediately. You're not getting divorced. Don't do another thing. The two of us are flying home tomorrow to talk about this. Until then, don't call a lawyer. Don't file any papers. Do you hear me? And she hangs up. The old man turns to his wife and says, okay, they're coming for Christmas and paying their own airfare. <laughs> So if any of you guys want your kids to come for Christmas, that's all you got to do. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I don't think I told that one before, but if I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> Messenger, you can't write anybody. What does that mean? I'm on Facebook too. Okay, I missed something. Do you think an embossing folder work? Oh yeah, an embossing folder work good with the napkins. Heck yeah, I'm gonna try that. That's a good idea. I'm sure it would work good or well, work well. Um, okay, so we've got a double bow here. I'm gonna get it nice and little. All right, so there we go. And I'm just gonna trim it a little bit. That's still too long. When you put it down at the bottom, you gotta make it kind of short. All right, so we'll put that right there. Well, which do you like better? Do you like the linen thread or the soft succulent? Because I can, well, I can switch it on the card kit. If you like the linen thread better, I can do linen thread. Okay, so there we go. Oh, and I was gonna do Wink Estella. Forgot. All right, so Wink Estella. Let's get something to tap it on. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at it. It's shimmering. Oh, it's getting everywhere. It's all over my paper, too. It's all over my hands. I just realized I'm starting to get arthritis in this finger. I have this finger crooked, and this finger's crooked, and now this one's going crooked. Ah! That's what you get for typing all day. When you're on the computer all day, you're, you start getting arthritis in your fingers. All right, so there you go. Here's all of our cards for today. I hope you loved them. And go try a napkin card yourself. You've probably got some laying around the house you can try. Oh, everybody likes the linen thread, but oh no, one person likes soft succulent. They're both beautiful, but I think more people like linen thread. Um, okay, I missed something about Facebook Messenger, something going on with that. I haven't had any issues with that today. Love the cards. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Hey, Jude. I just saw you on here. I know I missed half of you guys. Hey, Starla. Audrey. A lot of girls on my team are on here. Yay. Um, like the bow because it matches so nice. Thank you, Robin. All right. Only two people voted soft succulent. Everybody else is saying linen thread, so... I guess I will switch it to linen thread, which is probably good because I have a lot more of that. Straight cards, okay, so let's do straight cards. Then you can take a screenshot. <laughs> Messenger to give address. Oh, oh, to send Tony a card. Love the cards. Thanks everybody. You guys are so sweet. Um, so could you tell any difference except for the buffering? For a few minutes, could did it look like the picture is better with the new phone, or could you tell a difference? Love both cards. Thanks, girls. And if you like, look, can you see the shimmer on this one? It's nice and sparkly. Hold on, I'm like a minute behind. Let's see if I can catch up. 
It was loud and clear. Okay. Oh, to talk to anybody. Can you guys see that shimmer? I was hoping maybe this new phone with three cameras on it would be better. It's um, really nice, but I don't have a case for it yet. I ordered one on Amazon, so it'll be here tomorrow. Picture's a little bit better. I think it does look brighter. I think it looks brighter. Um, well, hopefully it won't buffer next time. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, all that good stuff for me. Um, and if you want to order anything and get the kit, so this will be the kit. You'll get um, four of these supplies to make four of these in the mail. Um, so I'm going to start cutting for the ones that just finished the Christmas ones. So those will go out this week. So this will be for the next two weeks. And um, if your order is over $50 and use the host code. And then if it's over $100, you will get these beautiful gems to go with it. So that is the kit for next time. So thanks everybody for joining me tonight. I just love having you with me. And sorry about the uh, buffering for a few minutes. But I hope you will be back on Thursday for another video. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.